What's going on YouTube? Titan Comedy back at you with another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be bringing you through a money guide for you. Uh, I use this. I'm just going to basically be showing you guys what to buy first, how to make the most money possible, and become a billionaire in GTA 5. Before this video starts guys, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn that bell on so you never miss a video. Also guys, hit that like button if you go ahead and enjoy today's video. And guys, uh, it's been a while since I uploaded. It's been about two weeks now guys. That is insane. Sorry, that is my bad. Uh, I actually went to Florida for five days and I got badly sunburnt. Like, it was almost... A severe sunburn like my whole body was just bright red guys my whole body plus my first layer has healed now the second layer the new layer of skin that is burned as well that's how bad it was I burned multiple layers on my skin so I was in pain for a few days so I didn't really want to upload a video because I was in such pain, I just wanted it to be healed. Now it's healed, guys. I'm okay. I'm back in my home state. And I'm ready to make some videos for you guys. So, yeah. Let's hop in to today's video. Alright, the first thing I have for you guys in this money guide is... A few things you guys should do to save yourself some money. So guys, the first thing is free mode PvP. Guys, trust me on this. Free mode PvP makes you poorer. Trust me on this. As an experienced PvP free mode player, I know that this makes you lose a lot of money. I probably spend about 100 to 150k just on ammo guys like that could have been used that ammo could have been used you know on like missions or heist something that I'm getting gonna get money afterwards to replenish my ammo with because when you waste ammo in free mode you're not getting any money back so you have to spend even more you have to spend money so you're losing money actually when you have to buy more ammo because you keep killing these people online. So guys, just be nice, save money, and let's move on to the second one, which is buying cars, guys. Buying multiple multiple supercars, sports cars, can be a lot of money, guys. That adds up buying cars, modding them out, spending millions on cars, guys, just for a simple car so just you know buy a couple cars guys I got a couple of nice cars buy a couple cars that's it and then you know save your money you know buy some businesses I'm gonna get in that in a minute here buy some businesses you know and then you can start buying you know those rocket vehicles or whatever once you start a guy having income guys that is the key you gotta have a lot of income if you want to spend uh, money on vehicles once you guys have a, all, a lot of money, uh, you can go crazy and buy whatever you want. But if you're starting out, guys, uh, just buy a car, get around town, you know, with that car. Stop buying cars, wasting money on that. Also, guys, a third thing is clothes. Guys, I do modded outfit videos, and modded outfits are expensive, guys. They are expensive. They're not cheap because... You know, you gotta, especially transfer glitches, you know, you gotta buy the clo the components for the female character, and then you delete the female character, and then it's like, I just wasted 100k on these clothes f for this modded outfit. So, I mean, it's not even modded outfits really, it's, you know, masks, you know, helmets, you know, shirts, you know, all that stuff, guys, just... You know, pick an outfit, stick with that for like a long time. You don't need to spend money on outfits, guys. That is a waste of money. But you know what? I'm going to be spending money on outfits because I'm still going to be doing modded outfits for you guys. So, yeah, stay tuned for those to come. But, yeah, guys, those are my, you know, three things you guys should stop doing if you guys want to save some money. 
The second thing I got for you guys in this money guide is businesses. Guys, businesses are everything in GTA 5. They earn you money. You know, they earn you a lot of money, actually. So, guys, I'm going to put you... I'm going to tell you guys what order I bought my businesses in. Uh, I still have a few businesses to buy, but I'm going to tell you guys what I did to be successful like me. <laughs> Psych, I'm not successful at all, but, you know, I'm doing pretty good. I'm 148. I'm level 148. You know, I got this stuff. I got some good income coming in. So, guys, just this is my money guide. So, if you guys want to buy businesses in a different order, whatever, but this is what I did, so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, the first business everyone should buy is a motorcycle clubhouse. Guys, the reason why you should buy the clubhouse first is because it's the cheapest business out there, okay? You can buy five different separate businesses from the motorcycle clubhouse uh, meth cocaine weed counterfeit cash and oh what's the fifth one god damn it uh, I forgot I know there's a fifth one guys but trust me guys the motorcycle clubhouse is the best starter business they are the cheapest always guys when you're buying these businesses always buy the cheapest business because they're all the same they all do the same exact thing the only thing you're paying for is location so if you want to have a closer one go ahead and spend the extra fucking 1.3 million but what I do to save money guys I buy the cheapest business so it's worth it traveling that's why I got the oppressor to travel to those businesses uh, just make sure you got a flying vehicle or something if you have a flying vehicle you're set you're all good you know you can get to your businesses faster but yeah guys motorcycle clubhouse not only can you have weed businesses cocaine businesses etc like that also guys in the MC you got motorcycle uh, club contracts and you have three of those per day I believe or whatever and you can earn about 30 grand 30 grand from those each from each of those some require a friend, some are solo, some, you know, uh, most of them are solo though, so. Yeah, guys, Motorcycle Clubhouse, that's what I did the first thing I bought. That made me enough money to buy my next business, which is a bunker. Guys, my second business was a bunker. Bunkers are amazing, absolutely amazing for money, guys. You can pull in a max of, what is it? I think if you have max upgrades, I think you can pull in about a million dollars with a full stock bar from the bunker. Um, the bunker is a little harder by yourself for like resupply runs and selling missions. Um, but the motorcycle clubhouse, that's more easier on solo. But the bunker guys, um, I recommend having a couple friends that play GTA so you can you know have pe friends help you out with selling your bunker stuff and whatnot plus guys the bunker uh, unlocks the uh, what is it uh, MOC the mobile operation center you can have a mobile operation center if you have a bunker and guys the mobile operation center allows you to customize uh, weaponized vehicles such as the oppressor the MK2 all that jazz and um, you guys can also research stuff for vehicles like you can research rockets for the oppressor you can research cool like mini guns or whatever for the uh, for other vehicles inside the bunker via research guys the bunker is a good choice to buy if you are looking for some decent cash now guys, the third uh, business I have bought was the facility. Guys, I was debating so hard on which I should buy. Um, I was debating so, so hard and I bought the facility over the nightclub. I was debating so hard guys, 
like the facility over the nightclub i bought that stuff i bought that shit so quick i'm like i want the doomsday heist so i got the facility guys if you are looking for if you want i'd say if you're looking for if you want your money back faster i'd buy the facility but if you want like more money over time i suggest the nightclub i'd say buy the facility because you can earn your money back quicker uh you can access the doomsday heist which is like 1.25 million dollars if you complete it or something like that also guys you have access to the avenger now if you buy a facility and then lester will stop bugging your ass in free mode and stop <laughs> so buy a facility uh if you guys want the doomsday heist that's the only reason i bought it there's no other reason to buy the facility i don't think other than unlocking the doomsday heist but yeah guys my fourth business i bought actually this business that i'm about to say i bought third and then the facility i bought fourth so my fourth business is the ceo office guys this is probably one of the best honestly the best business you could buy um i wouldn't buy it this would not be my first business to buy it of course not but i'd buy it like third or something like that that's what i did i bought it third it was perfect timing um ceo office allows you to have uh, crate warehouses and vehicle warehouses guys this is awesome vehicle warehouses you customize these vehicles and there's three uh, ranges of the vehicles there's standard range mid range and top range vehicles top range you can sell for a hundred K mid range you can sell for about 60 K and the standard range you can sell up for about 30 K guys and the cooldown for selling these vehicles isn't that long so guys if you want to make some quick cash I suggest the CEO office buildings guys Plus you guys got the, God man, I say guys a lot, sorry. Plus you got the stock uh, warehouse as well, the crate warehouse. So you got crates and vehicles you guys can export for some easy, easy cash. Now guys, these are my businesses that I bought in order. So if you guys want to buy these businesses, go ahead and I suggest you know just going into a solo public session and just you know grinding these out you know resupply invite a friend resupply resupply sell you know resupply go to a different business resupply sell you know keep doing all that and you eventually guys with all that money put together the CEO office the bunker the mo motorcycle clubhouse businesses if you put all that money together just think how much money that is guys that's like three million a day guys if you grind out I know GTA is a grind it is it's so much of a grind it's insane but um, yeah just keep doing that guys trust me this is playing the game legit guys if you want to play the game legit you gotta grind man you gotta work hard and make the money if you want to play this game legit or go ahead and cheat and do a money glitch that is totally totally way better than doing it the legit way but guys this is how you do it legit buy businesses you know do all that jazz you know take advantage of times two jobs as well guys like in this clip right here i'm playing times two money missions i've just been grinding them out all day long guys i've been making 200k you know quickly Every couple hours or so, I'm making 200k from these, or probably an hour or so from these contact missions, guys. Um, buy businesses, take advantage of two times money, guys. Stop, uh, take advantage of those tips that I showed you at the beginning of the video. If you guys do all of this, you guys should have plenty of moolah uh, to spend on those beautiful MK pressers and stuff like that. Now, guys. Um, the goal pretty much is to you know have every single business maxed out you know all that um so once you guys have all that 
businesses lined up and stuff like that once you have a lot of money uh, coming in that's when you can buy all these fun toys and the fun vehicles that you guys can purchase on March stock and uh, legendary motorsports so guys I totally suggest that stop spending money when you don't have income coming in just you know because who spends money when they don't have more coming in I mean come on don't rely on jobs guys to earn money don't just rely on jobs buy businesses first like when I have you know a couple million dollars I buy a business you know I don't waste it on a car I buy a business so that adds up I got more businesses that means more money so I hope you guys enjoyed my money guide sorry this wasn't a modded outfit video that'll be my next video on how to waste money <laughs> but uh, I'm telling comedy uh, wait follow me on Twitter guys Twitter follow me on Twitter uh, discord you know all that stuff will be in the description blah, 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 blah. talking too fast all that will be in the description below Twitter you know snapchat discord all that stuff uh, like this video let's go for 20 likes let's do it 20 likes my birthday's March 20th so 20 likes let's do it uh, I'm telling comedy and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out